Which is the best flip phone to buy in 2024? If you live in the US, it all boils down to two options. Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 6 and the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 edition. The Flip 6 is slightly smaller, the Razr Plus a bit bigger. The Galaxy costs a bit more, but offers better software support and has a few extra AI features. In other words, it's not an easy choice. But hey, this is Vic. I have used both of these phones, so let's look at the details and find out which one works best for you. Now, first it's about the looks. The Flip 6 comes with flat edges and a matte finish on the side. While the Razer is a bit bigger and has a bit more in terms of curves and the sides are glossy. Now, I like both of them, but I think the Motorola is a bit more stylish, especially in this spring green color with a vegan leather back that has a nice and soft texture. You also have the option for a glass back on the Motorola while the Galaxy only comes with a glass back. Now, we also have to talk about the unboxing experience because Motorola Motorola takes this to the next level. Now with the Galaxy you only get a cable in the box and that's it. While the Razer comes with a fashionable case that matches the color of the phone and even a strap that attaches to the case so you can kind of carry your phone like a handbag. Now I won't be using that feature but it's a nice touch and one that girls in the office love. And you also get a fast charger in the box while Samsung just refuses to add fast charging and there is no charger included. Now turn them on and you also see the Motorola has a bigger 4 inch cover screen that stretches from edge to edge while the Galaxy has a smaller 3.4 inch screen on the front. Now that's good for the Motorola but the Galaxy gets so much brighter and that makes a big difference in outdoor use. Now you can use all of your apps on the front screen of both phones but Samsung makes you jump through some hoops to achieve that. You need to download the nerdy good luck app to enable this otherwise you only get Get to use a few widgets on the cover screen. Now with the Motorola Razr you don't need to download anything and all the apps just work here. Now you may wonder if you can actually use the keyboard on this cover screen and while it is not a great experience on either one you can do it. Now it's just a bit easier on the larger screen of the Razr. One innovation here in the Galaxy is that it will smart suggest replies for your texts so you might need to type a bit less but we're not sure those replies will always be helpful. Now flip these two phones open and look right in the middle and what do you see? Yes, the dreaded crease is now improving, but it is still kind of noticeable on the Galaxy. While on the Razr, I honestly almost don't notice it at all. So extra points for Motorola. And the Razr also has a slightly bigger main screen at 6.9 inches versus 6.7 inches on the flip. But again, the screen on the Motorola just lacks a bit in brightness and the Galaxy has way more vibrant and juicy colors. It feels like the superior screen. And from here on the Galaxy kind of starts taking over. The construction on it feels more solid and especially the hinge it's smoother and stronger. Camera quality also goes to the Galaxy. Now both phones come with a 50 megapixel main camera but in this first image colors on the Razr are incredibly saturated just too much while the Galaxy captures a more realistic photo. In other pictures the difference is not that big but usually it's in favor of the the Galaxy and in low light the Galaxy captures more light as you can see here with this photo of my balcony. And then there is no ultra wide camera at all on the Razr while the Galaxy has a quite decent ultra wide camera on board. And you might think that at least in zoom quality the Razr should be better as it has a native two times zoom lens while the Galaxy uses a crop from the main camera to zoom in. But take a look at these zoom shots. At the maximum 10 times zoom level, the quality is practically the same. And at five times zoom, we can argue that the Galaxy actually has the better picture because of those better controlled highlights. And finally, at three times zoom, we would also give the Galaxy the upper hand. Now, it's great that you can take both wide and zoomed in two times portrait photos on both of them. We didn't have that option with the two times portraits before. And I would say that they perform similarly well, but usually the Galaxy does slightly better separating your subject from the background. Now we do some extensive camera testing here and this is the final phone arena camera score for the Galaxy Z Flip 6 for each of its cameras. 
And this is the score for the Motorola Razr Plus. And you can see that the Galaxy is higher up in the ranks. Battery life, however, goes to the Razr. We'll show you the battery results from different testing that we're doing, and you can see where the Razr goes extra long in terms of battery life. Samsung has improved in a big way from previous generations, but the Flip 6 still scores 16 hours and 10 minutes in our in-house web browsing battery test, while the Motorola gets a full hour more. And on our YouTube video streaming test, the Motorola finishes with a score of the impressive 13 hours and 4 minutes compared to just 9 hours and 8 minutes on the Galaxy. The Motorola just lasts longer. Now, the Razer also takes the upper hand in charging with 45 watt speeds, nearly twice as fast as the 25 watts on the Galaxy. We measured it takes around 1 hour and 40 minutes to fully charge the Galaxy, while the Razer tops up fully in just 50 minutes, really impressive. Now, both phones support wireless charging at about the same speed, 15 watts, which is considerably slower. Expect around 2 hours for a full top up. So, let's summarize the strong points for each of these. The Galaxy, it has a faster chip, more AI features, a better camera, much brighter display and longer software support. While the Motorola is arguably more stylish, it has a larger screen, faster charging and a lower price. Now it seems that the Galaxy has a bit more going for it and especially that brighter screen makes a big difference for me. So I would pick it over the Razer, but it's a very close call. Which one did you go for? Hit me up in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.